All right, physicists, the very first thing I need you to do is I need to stop, draw this diagram here. Pretty straightforward. If you need a clearer one, there's one in your textbook. But draw this diagram right now. So pause, and let's continue. So, essentially, we're talking about the anatomy of a wave. Okay, so what makes it up? We have the wavelength, which is from here to here, the amplitude, which is the height, um, the peak here is called a crest, see so how it has the symbol M, the trough has a symbol N, um, so the crest is the high point, the trough is the low point. This is called the resting position, this line through the middle, uh, or the midline, resting position, and yeah, okay, so let's get into it. Now, a wave is a math mathematical feature. We've got seven features we can use to describe it. Seven numbers. So first off, and the one you're going to hear the most about probably, is the wavelength. We use this symbol here, which is lambda. It's the Greek letter lambda. And essentially it is the distance from one point in a wave to the next identical point. So cross to cr uh, crust, crest to crest, trough to trough, um, that's pretty much it. Now, it's we use the symbol lambda, that's blown up, not a big thing, and the unit is in meters, although it could be anything really small like nanometers to kilometers. So, um, now it's, it is one of the things which is a measure of energy of the wave, so the wavelength, the distance from one point to another, um, it's a measure of energy. A high energy gives you a really short wavelength, and a really low energy wave gives you a very long wavelength. The next, well we've got three on here, we've got crests and troughs, um, so the crest is the maximum up value of a wave, so above the resting point, trough is below the wave, uh, the, the resting point, and they, they're equal, okay, they cancel out in the middle. Again, a wave is a mathematical feature, a mathematical thing. Um, so, they're the value of a wave's amplitude, the, the highest and lowest. The amplitude is another one, um, so it's basically a measure of the power or intensity of a wave. So if, if something has a high amplitude, for example a sound wave, it's a loud sound. If something has a really low amplitude and it's a sound wave, it's quiet. If something has a high amplitude and it's light, it's really intense and bright. The next number is frequency, so it's if you've got a point along that resting position, so that midline, um, the number of times a wave goes past the fixed point every second, that's its frequency. So the symbol is F and we use hertz. The symbol is the H, sorry, is the unit, that's the HZ. So one hertz is one wave per second past the point. Okay, that was a bit more complicated. The next one, just to keep it complicated for you, is period. So, if something has periodicity, or a, if it's periodic, what that means is it moves in a cycle, okay? So, as a pendulum swings like this, the time it takes to go from one end and back, so one complete cycle, that's a period. Um, so, a wave, one period for a wave, is the time for it to go, if this is our fixed point, Every time, the amount of time it takes for a complete wave to go past that point, that's its period. And then it repeats and repeats. So the symbol is a big T, and the unit is seconds. Now, there's a relationship between period and frequency. So T equals 1 over F. They're reciprocals, basically. So if you know the frequency, you can work out the period just by going 1 divided by the frequency. Or if you know the frequency, sorry, know the period, you can work at the frequency by one divided by the, the period. Now, so far, there's seven numbers, seven. We have six. We've got wavelength, the crest, which is M, trough, which is N, amplitude, frequency, period. Now, speed. How fast is the wave moving? How fast is the wave propagate through a medium. So the medium is that which the wave moves through. So with sound, the medium is air. 
um, and propagate is how so propagate is moving through a medium. So how fast it propagates. It's got a symbol, V, which is actually for velocity, and the unit is meters per second. So that's how far in the meters, how far, how many meters it travels every single second. Now, with speed, wavelength, and frequency, there's also there's another relationship that you need to know. And basically, speed equals frequency times the wavelength. This is the way you would write it down, or you'll see it written down for you. Hint, hint. Um, so speed equals frequency times wavelength. Now, if you wanted, you could work out the wavelength if you had the frequency and the speed of the wave. You would just go wavelength divided by, so wavelength equals the speed divided by frequency, just by rearranging the equation. Okay, so go over that for any parts you're not sure of, and we'll get back into it in class. Alright, see you later.